Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna. I didn't expect to be putting out a video today, um, but following the tragic news that we've heard today, I felt it was only right to pay tribute to the great man. Former Arsenal Sevilla and Real Madrid star Jose Antonio Reyes has tragically passed away at the age of 35. The former Spain international was involved in a road accident which sadly saw him lose his life. And if I'm honest, words cannot describe uh, the feeling that came over me when I got a notification on my phone to say that this had happened. Jose Reyes might not have fulfilled his incredible potential when he came to Arsenal, but his talent was clear for anyone who knows anything about the game to see. Jose signed for Arsenal in January of 2004 for an initial fee of approximately £10 million, but due to a series of clauses in his contract, that rose up to £17 million. He made his debut in February and in his second game scored an own goal versus Middlesbrough in the League Cup. However, all was forgiven when he bagged an incredible brace to knock London rivals Chelsea out of the Cup. I'm sure you'll all remember that fondly. Despite his undoubtable talent and the fact the Arsenal fans adored him, Jose Antonio was quite clearly homesick and the Spaniard made no secret of that. He had a huge influence in our strong start to the 2004-2005 campaign, was part of the team that beat Manchester United in the 2005 FA Cup final uh, despite being sent off that day and played an impressive role in our run to the UEFA Champions League final of 2006. Now, in August 2006, Reyes expressed the fact that he didn't wish to play in a UCL qualification match as it would mean that he'd be cup-tied and complicate a potential move to Real Madrid. Fair enough. Um, it just didn't work out for him here. And that was sad enough, you know, to see that a player with such talent and a player that excited so many when he was signed didn't quite uh, live up to to his potential and it was for a number of reasons it was the homesick thing uh, many people think that he just didn't get on with Thierry Henry and that was a problem there was the Luis Aragones thing which obviously uh, fueled that argument even more but it's even sadder to hear that such a great footballer talented footballer um, has lost his life at 35 years old nobody should lose their life at that age and it's absolutely devastating and it puts things into perspective because there's us having a complete meltdown the last few days because we lost the football match. While someone has tragically lost their life, it puts things into perspective, doesn't it? Football, it is just the game. No matter how engrossed we get into it, how wound up we get about certain things, it is just the game. Now, Jose moved on to Real Madrid. He spent some time there and then he spent some time with their city rivals Atletico before eventually returning home to his beloved Sevilla. And not many people know this, actually, but Jose was still playing at the time of his passing with former teammate Diego Capel at Extremadura UD in the Spanish Segunda Division. He was part of Unai Emery's Sevilla side who won three Europa Leagues. He was an invincible, an FA Cup winner and a Champions League runner-up with the Arsenal. And he won a whole host of other trophies in Spain. As I've said, it does put things into perspective tragic tragic news to hear and you know people might say I didn't know him why am I so upset well I'm upset because you know Jose Reyes was one of those players that I grew attached to I always felt that he had more potential than we saw at Arsenal and I was pleased for him when he was winning Europa League when he was winning La Liga titles because I never had any ill feeling towards the player you know some players leave and you just get it you understand why Others leave and things turn a little bit bitter, but not, not Reyes. That wasn't the sort of feeling I had towards him. Really, really sad news. Puts things into perperspective. And you know what? It it's, um, makes you think about things, doesn't it? Bitterly, bitterly disappointed. And I expect there to be lots of tributes coming out in the next few days. Far better ones than this. Um, and, you know, I haven't sat and prepared a long thing. But... I wanted to put something out today. Rest in peace, Jose Antonio Reyes.